الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب we ask Allah the Almighty by all of his divine names and attributes to bless the Muslims everywhere and forgive the Muslims everywhere and guide the Muslims everywhere. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically for our brothers and sisters in Damaj in the village known as Damaj in Yemen in the province of Sa'ada that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Ahlul Sunnah there as they are being attacked and betrayed once again by the Shia Rafida. And Ayyul Ahbab, we know that we may not always have the means for assisting our brothers and sisters when they are in having struggle. But one thing all of us can do, Ayyul Ahbab, is supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet والسلام, said, A dua hu ibadah that supplication is worship. So by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking Him, we can support our brothers and sisters in this time of great trial and struggle. And Ayyul Ahbab, do not be fooled by those people who say Shia are our brothers or that Shia, especially the Rawafid and people like this are from Islam or all the other claims and urging from the different people that we should work with them. But Ayyul Ahbab, when we look around the world and we see how much they hate Ahlul Sunnah, how much they attack Ahlul Sunnah, how much they try to kill and they do kill Ahlul Sunnah, then that should be sufficient enough for us as far as what we witness. But when we look back to the text, to the text of the Salaf of this Ummah, who speak about the Rawathith, who speak about the Shia, and even during the time of the Sahaba even they did not repent when Ali ibn Abi Talib was punishing them. Even then they said, up until they were burned, they say this is proof that you are Allah because only Allah would punish with the fire. So that shows us that those people who hold this kind of aqidah, this kind of creed are not even Muslim. And in fact, if we look at what they believe with regards to the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we see that they curse the believers. They make takfir of the believers and say most of them, if not almost all of them, uh, became murtid or left the religion. They believe the Quran was, was tampered with and that the Quran is not the original Quran that we have with us today. That the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, that they changed it and that they uh, were, were uh, zanadat and all of these other false and wicked and evil claims that they have no permission to lie and no proof and no evidence from except for books of theirs which are built upon a mile of lies and an inch of truth. Ayol Ahbab, I challenge you and I urge you to look up these matters for yourself. But in the meantime, supplicate for your brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah, wherever they may be. And especially our brothers and sisters in Damaj, may Allah protect them, and may Allah preserve them, and may Allah guide them, and may Allah bless them with the class with the man ala sunnah, and may Allah protect them from even a, a little bit of harm from the Rafid, and may Allah guide all those Rafid to Islam or rid them of us as if ridding a plague. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the Muslims everywhere, preserve the Muslims everywhere, and let us be a source of guidance and light in supporting the Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and may Allah bless us all with Jannah to Firdaus and forgive us of our sins. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Wasallam.